send it down for the Street Profits. Swag meter off the charts, boys. Saxton, what do you know about swag? That's good you didn't answer, so I can talk about Dawkins, who backs up his confidence with top-level wrestling skills. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, representing the Street Profits from Cincinnati, Ohio. Weighing in at 260 pounds, Angelo Dawkins. AD brings swag for days. A legit natural athlete and one of the very few men to hold NXT, Raw, and SmackDown tag gold. It's time to stir it up. Well, the one thing with Angelo Dawkins is that he always has a lot to say, but always brings his A-game to back it up. Here comes the toughest man in the building. And the man who proudly answered the call of AJ Styles. Japanese wrestling history, Carl Anderson has earned the nickname the Machine Gun. Get this, Carl Anderson has held tag titles in Japan for a total of 1,165 days. That is the most for a non-Japanese superstar. While he's a tag team specialist, he's proven he can get things done on his own. Here comes Finn Balor. A man who has truly embraced his darkness and has seen success as a result. And representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. Well, Finn Balor is a true fierce competitor who will beat down anyone in his path. Balor has honed his skill set and turned his entire body into a weapon. Hey, let's not forget, Balor is a very gifted technical wrestler. Now, Balor also has a very nasty attitude. Who are you to pass judgment on a member of the Judgment Day, Byron? Well, he attacks the body and the mind. The mark of a truly intelligent competitor. And oh, how he has developed a long, sadistic streak. I completely agree, Cole, and I completely enjoy it. Three superstars in what should be a hectic triple threat match. It will be Angelo Dawkins, Carl Anderson, and Finn Balor. Three competitors, one fall to a win. And this is where you start to separate the wheat from the chaff, so to speak. And just planting them with that DDT there. Oh, solid form. Corner he goes, 
was a perfectly placed target. Power release, back suplex. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Uh, please don't remind me, Corey. And what a maneuver we just saw there. There it is, the sling blade. Double stop. There's definitely an elevated sense of pressure in a triple threat match. Well, that's because it's really your match to lose. You don't have to be pinned to lose this one. The pendulum is swinging faster with each passing second. Incoming! The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Here's a snapmare. Followed by the knee drop. A fracture in orbital. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. Those are folding chairs, but they can also fold you in half. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. From behind. Back suplex. Looking wobbly in the corner. Pinpointing the leg. Ooh. An effective attack to the leg can hurt everything from balance to mobility. It can drastically limit you inside the ring. the legs. Patella brain buster. And a maneuver like that will leave you on unsteady legs, to say the least. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Huge toss. It wasn't the high. His shoulders are down. The kick out in one. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. Balor making clear he is not going to back down in this fight. Dawkins with the reversal. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Into a Patella brain buster? You gotta wonder how much damage has been inflicted after a brain buster like that. Uh-oh, tandem offense. A reversal leg sweep. He's starting to struggle here. Yeah, triple threat matches are no cakewalk, and they are showing us why right now. The pain and punishment, it really builds in these type of matches. Now a series of vicious stops in the turnbuckle. Stops. You want to control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. Oh, the knees, the knees caught him. Could be a turning point. Oh, This crowd. This is right forearm. Comes back into the ring. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. Dawkins with a spear. Into the pin attempt. Two. And he kicks out at two. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Scramble your insides. Shoulders down. He stops the count. Big forearm. Got a disturbing impact. Dawkins with a pump up spine buster. Dawkins on the first here. And picks up a monumental victory. Here is your winner.